think that you would wear to your job with like a coat over top, come home, not even worry about taking it off. Sacrifice the cleave action and just kind of have a really nice fitted dress. But typically I like to kind of like va va boom my girls a little. It's not stretchy at all. So it's a miracle that it fit me so well. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Cat Wonders here. I am back with not a bikini haul, a mini dress haul from Fashion Nova. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these and because we're kind of entering fall, even though I still live in a bikini, I thought that I would throw in some different stuff. So mini dresses is right up my alley and right up my butt crack in some, <laughs> some of these. <laughs> It's like a 50-50 haul for me at this point. Sometimes I review these videos and then I see some dresses that I'm like, why did I not like that? Like it looks really nice. Same with bikinis and all sorts of other things that I review. <laughs> Where at the time I'm not feeling it, but when I see it on myself, on camera, I'm like, actually, it's pretty good. I've been using this new shampoo and conditioner by Amica, Amica, and uh, it's terrible <laughs> for my hair anyway. Like I need volumizing conditioner and shampoo just so that it doesn't leave any residue in my hair. Cause when you use volumizing, basically it strips everything out of your hair so that it is lighter and bouncier. So a little tip, if you didn't know that, if you're using volumizing anything, shampoo, conditioner, very likely it's not leaving any type of residue in your hair. This I thought was gonna work for me, but clearly it doesn't. I showered this morning and curled it and this is worse than it's ever been. Also, I have a bit of a fly invasion. My timbers in my new home are cracking <laughs> and drying, which means there are tiny little channels to the outside. And these freaking flies are making their way in. If you see one zipping past the screen, it's not a demon, it's a fly. Or they're pretty much the same thing in my opinion. All right, so the first dress that I tried on is so beautiful. This is something that I own nothing like. I do own dresses with this fabric, but this color combination, this blue with the red, so unique. And in fact, it's even more beautiful in person than on the website. I love it, but I'd have to wear a totally different bra with it, or maybe just no bra. I did wear a bra with all these dresses, by the way. And sometimes, like I said, if it's the right fit, I'll kind of sacrifice the cleave action and just kind of have a really nice fitted dress. But typically I like to kind of like va va boom my girls a little just for nights out and dinners out and dates and that kind of thing so but this dress i really do like it you'll probably like it too it fits me really really well it's not stretchy at all so it's a miracle that it fit me so well but you can decide for yourself when you see the footage <laughs> is this button down sort of denim. Actually, it's not denim. It's kind of like denim material, but it's, sorry, my hair's everywhere. <laughs> it's this burnt orange color, which is totally in and I totally love it. And I thought about potentially even wearing this open over like a tank top and jeans or something, but the stressed kind of holes in the front, I freaking love it. It's so nice. The color is beautiful. Even if I had like a deeper tan, I mean, or a tan in general, because I do not have a tan at all right now, this would be stunning. And I would just pair this probably with like a knee high boot, even just like a brown boot to go for like a 70s type vibe or a black stiletto. I don't know, man. The potential with this dress is endless and I don't own anything like it and I love it. So I will be wearing it where, I don't know, probably just the grocery store, but highly recommend. <laughs> Okay, this next dress, I have to say that when I ordered it, I was not sure. <laughs> but I wanted to throw like a mix, a plethora of things in this video where you're not necessarily into oranges or grays, you might be into purple. 
purple velour. This is a very flattering dress, but the buttons don't stay done up. I could easily fix that, I think, with like purple elastic or something to keep the buttons closed because you're really not going to see it, but you shouldn't have to alter a brand new dress. But sometimes, like I said, it's the name of the game. I don't mind this color. Purple is not my color. <laughs> I know this. So I have taken risks the odd time with purchases and I never wind up wearing purple ever. Maybe I'll change my mind one day, but this feels really good. It fits really well. I don't know what to do with the flappy things in the front, but you know, if I really had to make this dress work, I could, and it is very nice. But like I said, the flappy things, I think you're supposed to leave them draped, but I think maybe I was supposed to tie them. I don't know. I think it's really nice, but I wouldn't wear it. So this next dress is very, I don't know, it's kind of like a sweatshirt in a dress. So what I mean is it's so comfortable that I could wear this all day, all night, to bed, wake up, wear it the next day. It's essentially just this like ribbed cotton, stretchy dress. This is a dress that I think that you would wear to your job with like a coat over top, come home, not even worry about taking it off. But also super cute with a really deep tan, hair up and a ponytail with like two strands coming down, some cute jewelry. I think this is really nice. And to be honest, I'm very happy to have it in my collection. All right, this next one is the one you've all been waiting for. I just know it. It's this pretty see through white mini dress with quite the slit with the proper bra. So I'm wearing like this purple bra right now, or sorry, it's, it's kind of like a deep mauve. You could see it through. It's tough because like, I wouldn't want to wear underwear underneath, but it's pretty dangerous to not <laughs> because the slit you'll see goes quite high and any false move, or if you were to trip or something, everybody would see the peach, but um, maybe that's what you're into. I could wear this without a bra, without a bra, but you'd see that I wasn't wearing a bra. So it would depend. Like if it was this hot night in Mexico, for sure, I'd wear this braless. I quite like it. I think it's very nice. It fits me really well. It's a sexier dress for sure, but I can't find anything wrong with it. one okay this one i have to say i think it's for what it is it is so freaking cute it definitely has like an 80s vibe to it this material is a stretchy cotton material i have to say that i love myself in yellow yellow is a go-to for me especially with a tan <laughs> which i don't have but the sleeves work the cups work I don't have to wear a bra with this. This is the one dress that I did not wear a bra with. And uh, you can wear it off the shoulder. I didn't in the video just because my nipples fly out every time. So you could wear it off the shoulder if you had smaller titties. <laughs> but my titties are definitely not super small. Just this little like structured V here. I just love it. And if this is the vibe you're going for, get this dress. Like it fits me like a glove and uh, highly, highly recommend. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in and spending this time with me. What did you think about these dresses? I've also been leaking a few of the videos to my OnlyFans, which has been sort of revamped, to be honest. It's five bucks a month and uh, you can see a ton of things, have a ton of fun and just be part of my Wonder Cat family. So <laughs> those will also be linked down below in the description box. <sighs> Follow me on Instagram. Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, um, and 
also watch my podcast. I post every Friday. This coming episode is gonna be a doozy, so be prepared for that. Subscribe, like, and subscribe. <laughs> uh, so you're not missing out on anything. And that's it, that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.